Hello, this is a video. Every video needs a gimmick. So in this case, uh, it's this. Hello, I am a computer, a Windows computer. I will be asking the questions. I've got a computer asking me questions. My book, Making Media Studies. So why is it called Making Media Studies? Why is it called Making Media Studies? Is there a thing about Twin Peaks? You've slightly misunderstood my computer friend. You've got two peaks of interesting things happening in media studies simultaneously and they don't fit together very well. So one is the interest in creativity and making, people making things. The other one is about surveillance and digital exploitation, the exploitation of our labour and our data by big media companies who exist to make money from it. Those two perspectives don't fit together very well but we need to find a way in which they can work together I think. You know, we do have these media technologies, they are useful and powerful for people. Uh, so we need to think about what good things we can do with them, not just complain about the downsides. What's that Tim Ingold bit? It's on page three. Come on. What's that Tim Ingold bit? It's on page three. Okay. Uh, you know Tim Ingold? He wrote a book called Making that's very good. He's a sort of anthropologist, a very uh, wide-thinking anthropologist. Um, this is telling me to look at page three. So um, here I'm talking about how it's kind of media studies which has making front and center. This is explaining why we've got a book called Making Media Studies. It's about being able to do things with media. And so I refer to uh, three key distinctions which are basically borrowed from Tim Ingold and I've changed a couple of the words because he's not talking about media, he's talking about something else. But basically it goes like this. So it's about um, learning with media rather than learning about media. So it's about learning with media rather than learning about media. Uh, that's because we intend to move forward through building meanings and understandings rather than looking back over accounts of how things are. So it's about moving forward, making new things rather than looking backward. And that's because our aims are primarily transformational rather than documentary. So because we want to make and move forward and transform rather than just describe and look backward and complain, that's what we're doing. So you think media studies has all changed? It's all about creativity? No. Um, well, it's not, is it? But um, I think media studies can be refreshed by embracing the creative and making side of what we can nowadays easily do with media. Uh, I also think that the, the old political and uh, con the concerns about capitalism, the economic concerns, they're all very relevant as well. As I said, we need to find a way to fit them together. So it's not just all about creativity. I like the thing in the box on page seven. I like Brian Eno. <laughs> it's nice to hear the computer likes Brian Eno. So the thing in the box on page seven, that's a bit where uh, I'm not going to talk you through the whole book page by page, uh, honest. Um, this is just a few key bits from the start. So this is media as triggers for experiences and making things happen. And I'll tell you what it says in the box. What it says in the box is, and this is inspired by a Brian Eno point. He's making the point about art as triggers for experiences. So I was thinking about that and we got this. So it says, I'll put it in a box to show that it's, it's an important bit. Uh, it says, we should look at media not as channels for communicating messages and not as things. So media not as channels and not as things. We should look at media as triggers for experiences and for making things happen. They can be places of conversation, exchange and transformation. So media is places of conversation. Explains itself, I think. Uh, media is places of exchange. Uh, there I'm basically referring to what people otherwise also talk about as sharing. Um, but the word share has become nauseating because of the way uh, Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook says it all the time about anything where he means putting stuff on Facebook, <laughs> which is, uh, is not what I understand by the human act of sharing a thing with a person, putting a thing on Facebook, not the same as that. I'm saying exchange because I think in terms of exchange of gifts, I give you something, you're pleased and you like it and you give me something and I'm pleased and I like that. I think exchange actually works quite well and share is misused and, and, and now spoiled. So I'm saying exchange. And transformation, making our lives better. We do still want that, <laughs> don't we? We always did. Um, so then it says, 
So that was media as places of conversation, exchange and transformation. Media in the world means a fantastically messy set of networks filled with millions of sparks. Some igniting new meanings, ideas and passions. And some just fading away. Not everything that happens online is important. There are different levels of significance and impact with all of these things all happening all over the place. Uh, so I want to say that again, but the media in the world means a fantastically messy set of networks. A fantastically messy set of networks filled with millions of sparks. <laughs> Lots of stuff. Some igniting new meanings, ideas and passions, and some just fading away. So I boiled all of that down, in fact, to a bit on the back cover, <laughs> which says, uh, where's that? We should think about media in terms of conversations, inspirations, and making things happen. I think we can actually boil it down to that. So it's about conversations, people connecting, and having what is essentially a conversation, but it might be mediated in all kinds of different ways, so it might not look like a conversation as you might picture it, but it's a conversation. Uh, inspiration, I think really important, people being able to inspire others and then others do something that then inspires other people. So it's a kind of flashy network, things happening, network of inspiration, and making things happen. So thinking about media, as ways of causing things to happen in the world. So much more powerful, I think, than the standard media studies model of media as a thing that you look at. So if you think like this, media very broadly, media as being lots of things that we can communicate messages and exchange ideas with, uh, media as triggers for experiences, it does lead to a different way of, of thinking about things. It moves you away from that producers and audiences approach or the approach where industry is the thing that makes media and exists somewhere else. That still describes some big industries, of course, but we can't always be talking like that. Thank you very much. I am tired now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. 